Hey, what's going on? My name is Anant. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use WhatChimp APIs to send messages or add contact inside of WhatChimp. I'm also going to discuss how you can send personalized messages using template variables. Now, template variables is something I've covered already, but I'm going to give a quick recap so that we can make use of template variables to send personalized messages via API. So to use API, you first need to generate the API token. And to do that, once you're on your dashboard, head over to this profile icon on top right, and then click on API developers. And for the first time, you might see something like this, where the API key is not already generated. And you have to click on API uh, generate API key, which is going to create your API key like this, which you can use to do a bunch of things, which is sending message uh, to fetch the bot templates, to send broadcast template, to get subscriber, to get subscriber list, to create a new subscriber, update a subscriber, a reset user input flow, and then create list, lots of things that you can see over here. Let me just show you. So these are the things that you will be able to do once you have the API. Now let me just take one of the API and try to send a message. So if I go over here, you can see when you talk about sending messages, and this is one of the most frequently used API. So when you talk about sending messages, there are two types of APIs. Number one is when you are sending messages inside the 24 hours window, right? This is where you can send unlimited messages. You don't get billed for it and you can send whatever you want to your customers. But then there are cases where the customer is outside of the 24 hour window where you have to send a template message. You cannot send just any random message to the customer. In that case, you have to be using this um, API endpoint, which is send template message. So if you see over here, there are only three templates created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new template and I'm going to also create a template variable so that we can use it inside this, right? This is one of the most frequently used API. That is why I'm putting more of my attention towards this. Here you learn how you can send personalized messages via WhatChimp API. So first thing you have to do is go ahead and create a new template message which you can go to bot manager and then create a new message template over here. So you can see there are three templates already created, but let's try to create a new template and I'm going to call it as now, before I go ahead and create a template, I will show you something. This is where you can create template variables, right? So when you want to personalize the message, you need template variables. There are already few variables which already exist. You can see over here, there are some variables that already exist, which is name right now beyond just name there are a few more things for example their country their city their location their gender lots of other things that you can use right so let's try to use one of them let's try to use a variable as city and save it and now you need to just click on sync template all right. And then when you click on create and general template, you will be able to see this variable available over here. So now if I'm sending a message as hi, and then let's put name, our services are now available in your city. And then let's use the city, right? let's say city marketing and then footer text let's just skip this for now and then just save it okay let me put a thank you at the end because you cannot end a message with the variable so you have to put something after that and click save Perfect. Uh, so a new template is created. Now click on sync again. You see it's pending. Let me just click on sync template again. And you can see this is approved now. So now I can go ahead and use this. So to, to use this, I need to go back to the API developer, go to uh, send message. 
Now scroll down a bit and this is where you will see the template. So I've created a new template called as city marketing. So I'm going to click over here and then here I can just put any random city over here. So let's put New York. Doesn't matter because you will get a variable where you can change that anytime you need it. So now I got, uh, you know, get request and post request. So you can use any of these requests to make an API call. Now I'm going to use something called as request bin to make an API call. But what you can do is you can, if you uh, have developers, you can give this API key to your developers so that they can, um, you know, send the messages or they can uh, connect it with whatever CRM that you have or else you can use something called as Pabli or Zapier or N810 or Make. Now these platforms allows you to connect any of your existing platform with Watchimp using APIs or using the existing automations. So for example, if somebody books a call with you through uh, Calendly, then you can send a message to them using Pabli. So when you're using Pabli Connect or Zapier or any of these platforms, what you're able to do is you're able to trigger the automation whenever the calendar meeting is booked and then you're able to leverage Watchimp API to send the message to the customer. But again, if you already have a developer, I'm going to make an API call and show you how it works. So this is where I'm going to make an API call. So you see here, I got the API request, but there are certain things that I have to change over here, which is city value and the phone number. So I'll go ahead and paste it over here and I need to change the city va value. So I'm going to make it as let's say Mumbai and phone number. You have to put it over here. So phone number, I'm just going to keep a um, temporary number, which might not exist. I'm just going to put some random number over here. Okay. So this number doesn't exist. So I'm not sure if the message is going to delivered to the person or not, but I don't want to use a real number for this demonstration purpose. So this is a temp, uh, uh, you know, a random number that I've used and I'm going to make a get request. Perfect. So you can see it says template message has been sent. And now if I go to my live chat, one second, if I go to the live chat, I'll be able to see that the message has been sent to the number. So let's try to find the number. Uh, I need to go and search for this number. So I'm going to go and search and you can see hi and the name of the person. Our services are now available in your city and then whatever is the city and then thank you. Now you might see this as hi username and city, but your end customer or the end user is going to see the exact value that you have entered. So the value that we have given is Mumbai and the phone number over here. So that's what your customer is going to see over here. So yeah, this is how you can, uh, you know, create and send uh, WhatsApp messages using API keys. Now there are a lot of other things that you can do. If you just want to create a new subscriber, you can always do that using this API endpoint. But remember when you're doing this, you need a few important IDs, which I'll tell you how you can find it. So the, the API that I just showed you, which is to send message, already pre-fills everything, but when you're using any other API endpoint, you might need API token, phone number ID, and the number of the person whom you're sending this message. So I'll just show you how you can get all three values, right? So all I need to do is I need to just copy this. Okay. And I'll just paste this over here, right? So you can see we have API token, phone number ID, name and phone number, right? So how do we get API key? It's pretty simple. You just go back and scroll up to the top and this is your API key. So what you need to do is put your API key over here. The next thing is phone number ID. So to get your phone number ID, go to your connect account. And this is where you will be able to see the phone number ID. Now we are not copying the number. We are copying the phone number ID. Please keep in mind. So you can copy the phone number ID from here and then paste it over here, right? Rest, you can put the name of the person and the phone number of the person so that you can add this contact, right? So I hope this is going to make it easier for you to find out the uh, API token and phone number ID. This is all you need in order to use any of the API keys that you see over here.
right? So we got a bunch of APIs. Give it a try, generate an API key, and uh, you know, use any of these API keys to perform whatever activity you want to perform. All right, that's it for today. If you have any question, drop it down in the comment. I will do my best to answer all your questions in the comment below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.